Hey, good morning, East Texas. Happy Tuesday. Well, yesterday we had a cold front move into the area, and uh, it helped some. As you'll see here, we had some upper 70s, some low 80s for uh, parts of that I-30 corridor. We had some low to mid 80s for spots closer to I-20, but then you started getting in toward uh, spots like in Tyler and in Longview, and uh, despite that cold front, the cloud cover too, they were still able to crawl their way up to around 88 to 89 degrees. And, well, we have the chance to see likely similar temperatures today as well. We're going to see a mix of sun and clouds this afternoon. Uh, another chance for some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms, but still I think we'll likely see a range of highs anywhere from around 86 to 87 on average, but many dry spots could easily climb higher than that, maybe even closer to around 88, 89, or well, even 90 degrees. Just depends on how much sunshine you can get, but east winds will kind of help seeing many areas not just immediately reach up to around 90 degrees or so but still all that to say it's still going to be muggy it's still going to be warm um, a couple of degrees won't really make that much of a difference so just make sure you're prepared and you got those short sleeves for today uh, mentioning those shower and thunderstorm chances uh, kind of the same thing as what we saw yesterday um, a few showers possible from the late morning hours heading into the afternoon pop-up showers and thunderstorms possible especially for areas south of i-20 doesn't mean areas north of i-20 stay totally dry it's just the furthest after you go, the more likely you could have some of that rain, uh, thanks to some of those remnant leftover boundaries from yesterday. And it's good that Futurecast is finally catching on. You know, if you were watching yesterday, it was showing nothing for Tuesday, but we knew the potential was there, which is why it was worth mentioning. So all that to say, have that umbrella, have that first alert weather app handy, and I think you'll be good to go today. Also, just uh, like yesterday, we'll see a lot more activity well out toward the west of our area, mainly for Central and North Texas. Some of that activity could hold together long enough to maybe bring a little bit of rain over Overnight, uh, tonight into early tomorrow morning for our western zones, or we just won't get clipped altogether. Very limited rain chances for your Wednesday, around a 10% shot at rain. Then we're pretty much staying dry for the most part. Lots of sunshine with a quick warm up, and yes, even more sunshine on the way for your Thursday as well, with a very, very, very quick jump back up into the middle 90s by the end of the work week. Looks like we'll stay dry as we head into the weekend for the most part, but Sunday into Monday, I think we'll have a better resurgence of some tropical moisture making its way in toward parts of deep east Texas, which could easily bring some areas, especially south of Lufkin and Angelina County, upwards around an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. But the further north you go, as you can see, the drier it looks to be. So we'll just have to see how far north that tropical moisture can get to start out next week. In the meantime, get ready for some heat. As promised, we'll sit around 90 for your Wednesday, low to mid 90s for your Thursday, and I I think we'll all be hanging out in the middle 90s for your Friday, which is where we will remain for the weekend. Totally dry on your Saturday, so if you want the rain-free guarantee over the weekend, Saturday's the day to do something outdoors. Sunday, I do think most areas stay dry, but areas further south, you'll have the better chance to get a couple showers throughout the day with uh, more widespread showers and thunderstorms starting to look a little bit more likely for um, Monday and maybe into Tuesday of next week. So keep your eye on that. In the meantime, just uh, stay cool out there and, well, be ready for some heat.